Hello everybody and welcome back to our Mario Kart Advent 2015. It is time to wrap up the Advent calendars for the year. I know I meant to do this uh, at the end of each week, but that was either a couple of days ago or a few days from now. I'm not really sure. I think in the entire month of December I probably accomplished about 12 hours of sleep and it's kind of making me a little bit insane. So I'm going to show you the advent calendars and since it's been a while and quite frankly I don't remember how the story began, I'm going to reread the part we already read and just do the whole the whole deal. But first, I want to show you what the tree turns into. It's this it's this wonderful kind of Christmas scene and I'll, and I can kind of zoom in on it. So you got like the, the, the pole up here and you got some elves just kind of hanging out and you got some penguins, you know, because Penguins are at the North Pole, right? No, they're in the Antarctic, but that's okay, because there's also a polar bear just kind of there. And then some other, there's another polar bear over here next to another penguin. I'm not, it, it's not very accurate in terms of geographical animal locations, but it's very pretty. So you gotta enjoy that. Plus it was stuffed with chocolate and I ate all of that like really quickly. So, anywho, let us read. I already said Christmas. Now I've opened most of them but there's a few that haven't been opened, so let's do this. <laughs> so again, I'm going to start at the beginning, because it's been a while. <clears throat> it is the 1st of December. The North Pole is humming. Every creature is stirring, because Christmas is coming. There is a lot to be done before Santa can leave on that around-the-world journey. He makes Christmas Eve. The mail gets delivered to Santa's front door by dozens of dog sleds each day more and more. He reads all the wish lists that come with each letter. Have you sent him yours yet? The sooner the better. The elves trim the tree. It's a beautiful sight. Mrs. Claus oohs and ahs when they switch on the lights. Do -do -do. Where is number six? I'm gonna find you. There you are. For folks at the pole, it is a fun celebration. They're putting up holly and bright decorations. They're stringing up popcorn and having a ball. Are you hanging your stocking and decking the halls? Number eight. The Christmas Command Center shifts into gear to step up production at this time of year. Arr. The head elf supply guy consults his computer. Can they fill a request for another red scooter? Gotta love getting red scooters for the holidays, right? You can run over your toes. Festive red stockings are knitted with care. Mrs. Claus makes them all pair after pair. That's a lot of knitting. Something like 4.5 billion kids in the world. She's gonna be busy all the live long year. Where's number 11? There it is, right in Mrs. Claus's face. With her sewing machine and latest designs, she makes fabulous fashions for dolls of all kinds, including that one. That one that you wouldn't think would have clothing. Designed for it, especially for the holidays. Down in the workshop, there's pounding and drilling. It's round the clock toy making, no time for chilling. Especially with all that pounding and drilling going on with the elves down in the workshop. Got it. That's around the clock. They're banging and. They're banging and building and working away. Maybe they're making your present today. <laughs> With all that pounding and drilling, I'm not sure you want that present. <laughs> oh, it's number 14. Oh, jeez. Jeez, look, there it is. Once in a while, there can be quite a clamor whenever an elf hits his thumb with a hammer. He gets distracted. All that pounding and drilling. The elf doctor treats him with icicle packs, a mug of hot cocoa, and gingerbread snacks. Not painkillers or band-aids or anything of the sort. Instead, he's kind of screwed because of elf medicine. The reindeer work out in their own reindeer gym. Just eight days are left to get all fit and trim. Gotta love the reindeer gym. Rudolph's not allowed in the reindeer gym. He does CrossFit and everybody's sick of him talking about it. When you've got a sweet tooth, there's nothing so dandy as having some elves who just love to make candy. They just love it when they take a break from pounding and drilling. They're painting the stripes on each peppermint stick and their chocolatey fudge is so creamy and thick. It's so creamy and thick. Gosh darn it, this is filled with innuendos, isn't it? I'm not even trying. It's making it far too easy for me. Where's number 19? There it is. The choir rehearsed for the show all year long. They're here to perform Santa's favorite songs, which is actually um, not Christmas carols. He is actually a juggalo. That's right, insane clown posse. That's where Santa likes to get his, his rocking on. A standing ovation, he's really impressed. What are, your, what are the Christmas songs you like the best? Well, I like Nat King Cole and all that classic stuff because I'm very old fashioned. 
They're having big fun when the reindeer join in for an old-fashioned snowball fight. I wonder who will win. Probably the reindeer, because they're not really going to feel the snowballs, and then they'll just trample you because they're reindeer. Ugh. The weather report says conditions are right, just perfect for Santa's Santa Claus's Christmas Eve flight. It takes like American Southwest. It's the night before Christmas with the sleigh loaded high. Santa calls to his reindeer, and takes to the sky. And then the final one. The waiting is over. It's finally here. Merry Christmas to all and a happy new year. That is that is quite the calendar. Plus, it now looks really cool with all of them open up. They're just like big paper flaps. I can use this to brush a horse gently like that. But yeah, it's a good calendar. It's a good calendar. Not stuffed with chocolate like the other one, but a fine story nevertheless. Although, if you wanted to take a shot every time there was some innuendo, oh boy, that's a fun Christmas. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time for some more Martin Court Advent 2015. Have a good one, guys.